It's impossible to ignore the magnificence and grandeur of many renowned structures. Their presence commands you to not only notice them, but also admire them. These structures stand as testament to the age in which they were constructed, as well as the audacious vision of their designers and the sheer determination of their builders. Without concrete, these architectural icons would not exist. As long ago as the Greek and Roman empires, concrete helped shape the built environment. Even today, this natural construction material is still made in essentially the same way, by mixing sand, water, cement and coarse aggregate. Throughout the last 100 years, concrete has helped shape our homes, our places of work, our transport corridors, our everyday lifestyles. Its versatility and durability are unmatched. That's why concrete is the world's most widely used construction material and is a key contributor to New Zealand's ongoing sustainable development. Complementing the social and economic dimensions of sustainable development, the concrete industry is, above all, conscious of its environmental responsibilities. The industry is proactive in researching and implementing better environmental practices and technologies. The two major cement manufacturers in New Zealand, Holsom and Golden Bay Cement, are both firmly committed to operating their businesses in an environmentally responsible manner. While cement production is an energy intensive process, the initiatives and work undertaken by both companies have received formal recognition as achieving the highest possible level of environmental performance. The use of alternative kiln fuel, strict controls on CO2 emissions and land rehabilitation programs are just some of their award-winning success stories. The utilisation of used oil by Holsom and forestry wood waste by Golden Bay Cement as alternative fuels for kiln operation is an extremely responsible development in the manufacture of cement and has seen the industry reduce its dependency on non-renewable fossil fuel supplies and at the same time minimise CO2 emissions. Another example of how seriously the concrete industry takes its environmental obligations is the use of industrial byproducts that traditionally would have ended up in a landfill site. Substituting cement with industrial byproducts and natural materials provides positive environmental benefits without compromising concrete quality. Advances in cement technology have also led to the development of innovative eco-concretes. For example, the addition of titanium dioxide has led to the development of photocatalytic or depolluting concrete. While at a basic level, the composition of concrete has remained largely unchanged for hundreds of years, research and development of concrete technology continues. Concrete manufacturers continue to find ways of improving the characteristics of concrete to meet specific demands. One such example is the recent development of self-compacting concrete. Ideal for achieving unblemished surface finishes, self-compacting concrete has helped eliminate the need for noisy machinery. As such, construction sites are quieter and safer. In 2005, Fulton Hogan completed this recycled road in Christchurch. Crushed concrete and recycled asphalt were combined to produce an extremely durable road. Another aspect of concrete's recyclability is the reuse of wastewater and truck wash water in the concrete manufacturing process. There's also a growing market for interlocking concrete blocks made with residual concrete from mixing trucks. How about recycling a whole building? Many concrete buildings have been transformed by the removal of facades or walls and adding new ones. You name it and it can be done. These modifications can often be completed without any major compromise to the building. An entire concrete structure can be designed for deconstruction and reassembly on a different site. A little known fact is that concrete absorbs CO2. A significant proportion of the CO2 liberated during the manufacture of cement is actually absorbed by concrete throughout and after its service life. The world's concrete infrastructures could provide the largest man-made carbon sink. 
When it comes to human safety, then concrete is our friend. No other building material can match it when it comes to protecting us. The main advantage of concrete is that it's incombustible. So it allows the firefighters to safely conduct firefighting operations, conducting search and rescue, fire attack, without the risk of fire penetrating through the structure or incurring structural collapse. So in terms of life safety, it's an excellent building material. Well, the biggest risk of fire in a building is fire spread. As concrete is incombustible, it minimises this risk of the fire breaking out and spreading through the building. As a result, there's less damage, there's less risk to life. Still on safety, concrete median barriers save lives. Their robust design prevents dangerous crossover accidents by containing and redirecting errant vehicles along the direction of the flow of traffic. Their durability also means reduced maintenance and traffic disruption. Earthquakes have played a major part in our brief history. Concrete, reinforced with seismic grade New Zealand reinforcing steel, has allowed the high-rise buildings and major infrastructures, such as hydro dams, to be designed to withstand significant seismic events. Global warming is causing more extreme weather patterns. Damage to timber buildings during floods inevitably means huge inconvenience and costly repairs. On the other hand, concrete buildings can be cleaned and dried with comparative ease following a flood. Concrete has incredible thermal properties, a characteristic often referred to as thermal mass. Put simply, exposed concrete surfaces can absorb, store and later release heat, minimising internal temperature fluctuations. This enhances comfort levels and saves on heating and air conditioning. Concrete has excellent acoustic properties. Not only does it contain sound within the building, but it also keeps sound out. Life is safer, quieter, and more comfortable with concrete. With the development of ultra-high strength materials, concrete structures can be taller, more slender, and more elegant. Incredibly intricate off-form finishes are now also achievable. So as construction boundaries are continually pushed, the proliferation of magnificent concrete structures will continue to be realised. The longevity and durability of concrete are legendary. In short, concrete endures. We all recognise that the need to strive for sustainable development is now a global imperative. Efficiencies and innovations in concrete's manufacture, along with its inherent properties and a range of applications, ensure concrete provides solutions to the built environment that help New Zealand achieve sustainable development. The foundation for New Zealand's social, economic and, above all, environmental future is already and must continue to be cast in concrete. After all, we haven't inherited the world from our forebears. We've borrowed it from our children. Yeah.